What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I show you how to fix the rust on my daily driver, Peter Evo. So the materials we're using for this job is pretty simple. You want some primer sealer, some self-etching primer, a flange tool that we got from Harbor Freight, and some sandpaper. Now we're gonna use 400 grit and uh, probably 600 grit just to smooth that out. We have some body filler for any inconsistencies. We're not gonna use a lot of this. We're just gonna skim that panel to make it smooth once we prime it. And you gotta make a patch. This patch came off of a Mirage fender and the arch matches the car. So it, it's pretty perfect to use because this will match the arch and it won't be too hard to, ma to make it. So we're gonna cut this down pretty small once we figure out how much rust is on that quarter panel. And then obviously we'll just weld that on. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grind that quarter panel down and see how big that rust panel, the rusty panel is so that we can trim the patch to match. So as you can see, the rust is pretty bad. It seems solid right here. But right here when I rolled the fenders last year, it just blew it up. We have a little bit of rust right here, but I think we can grind it down and uh, prime and seal it and it'll probably be okay. But right here is probably where our patch is gonna go. As you can tell, that patch is pretty big. So we're gonna have to grind this down to see how big the patch really needs to be. I'm hoping we, we need to use minimal metal work. That way we don't have to go all the way up here. Once you get it ground down, it's really easy to tell, without the light probably, it's a lot easier to tell to see where the rust stops. So basically you're going to grind the paint off until you can see where the rust stops. So if you see bare metal right here, that pretty much tells us that it's clean up here. So we can cut above this, this piece of rust right here, we can cut there and across like this. And what I like to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a Sharpie and that way I can cut the patch where I need to cut it. You gotta check under here too because you wanna see clean metal right here to make sure you know where to cut right here and right here as well. You wanna see clear metal, which we have some clear metal here, stops about right there and the clean metal is right here. So that patch ain't gonna be that big, but it's still gonna be a lot of work so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna start marking it and then I'm gonna cut it to pry it open. And uh, we're not gonna cut it all the way through because there's another sheet of metal under there that we need to account for, which is the inner fender well. And you don't wanna cut the inner fender well out because that's where the structure is. So we'll just cut it here and see if we can peel it back and see what we're working with behind it. As you can tell, once that outer skin is cut out, there's still rust under here, which is, it's part of the uh, inner wheel well. Usually the inner wheel well will rust out before the outer skin. So now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make this even bigger so we can see where this rust ends. But I'll I, I wanna at least see where, where it's clean so that I can weld to it. But as of right now, this is, this is pretty bad, so we're gonna grind it down and see if it's clean metal under there, and then keep going. After cutting the outer skin out, we found that the inner wheel wells was also rusted, so I had to cut out the rotten part in here as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some cardboard to make a template, and then I can put it uh, against my 
a sheet metal that I'm going to use to uh, patch this with. So after that, I'm going to actually prime the inside and uh, to protect it, put some primer sealer in there to protect it, let it dry, and then we'll get started on the outside here. The outside here is pretty clean all the way up to here, which I'm really happy about because then it'll be an easy little um, patch there. So we just got to get through all of this. Uh, this is where the rust starts because condensation and moisture gets up inside in between the quarter panel and the inner fender well. As you can see right here, it's still pretty clean. Um, so I'm not worried as long as we uh, protect it in here, which I think the primer sealer will protect it. And I'll, I'll end up putting some 415 on the inside because you can get to it from the trunk. Um, but other than that, I think we're okay. So I'm going to make a panel patch right here. And then I'm, I'm gonna make it out of cardboard first. It'll probably be two pieces, and then I'll end up making one with metal. At this point, I've made the patch. I've cut it out of the fender, the donor fender I'm using. So what I gotta do now is just smooth the sides out and then we're gonna use this air punch tool. I'm gonna put a flange on the outside, about a half inch. That way I can just slip it into the cut that we made in the inner fender. That way it'll have something to weld on. And a butt weld should be ideally what you should use, but I'm not a professional welder. So if there's something behind it, it'll just help me a little bit better to weld it onto the place we cut out. So I'm gonna smooth this out. I'm gonna use this flange tool and then we'll go on and put it back on the car. The way this works is you press this and this punch right here grips on the metal and then puts a flange on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this corner right here. And then you just slowly see how it flanges you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see on the, but it'll flange it, which will help us slide it under the cut we made. That's pretty cool. that we just made. Primer sealer is probably good enough to protect it inside. I went into the trunk and sprayed into there too. Maybe we'll do some cavity wax in there if I can go get some if we ever get out of this quarantine. So next thing we're gonna do is remove the mask and then we're gonna take the cardboard and try and make a patch that as close as possible to this. I'm probably not gonna flange this area on the next patch but only flange up here mainly because there's not a lot of room over here. So I only need that flange to um, hold that section right here. And I also have some temporary rivets we could use. So we're just waiting for this to dry and then we can start on the other patch. So I made the patch, the camera died while I was making it, but I, kept, I had to keep working. So the patch is in there now. Basically I just grinded it down until it fit. I used some cardboard to make a template and then I put it on that rough patch I made and then I just cut it, test fit it, cut it, test fit it and then when I got close I flanged it for the top here that way I have something that holds the panel up to the original panel and then now we'll just weld it. This, this butt weld right here is going to be the tricky part.
filler. So once this dries, I'm gonna use some 80 grit to flatten it. It looks like there's a body line right here. I don't know if I matched it well enough, but it's gonna have to work and we'll just shape it with the filler. But we're getting there. And once we get this shaved down, we're going to prime it. I'm gonna run an etching primer on it first and then I'll do the sealer. And then we'll take care of the corner stuff right here too and by the taillight. But we're, we're making pretty good progress and I'm, you know, pretty excited. First time I've ever done, I've never done this before. So I'm really excited to not have rust right here. That way I can take pictures of the car on both sides, you know? y'all enjoyed that video stay tuned for more videos on this beater evo series as we restore this car to its former glory remember to hit like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace, peace.